Five years after the Gibbons-Ogden case, however, Marshall did rule in favor of a state over the federal government. Rules are meant to be broken, I suppose. The year is 1829, and the state of Delaware has contracted the Blackbird Creek Marsh Company to construct a dam across a waterway within their state. The dam was built. Along comes a Mr. Wilson with his fancy interstate shipping license and rams the dam with his boat, destroying it, thus allowing him to sail along the waterway which was once again flowing naturally. The state and the creek company were naturally not too happy about this. So, the company sued him in a state court and won. Wilson, not happy about losing a court case, appealed to the Supreme Court, saying that his shipping license gave him the power to legally do what he did because of the Supremacy Clause and the Commerce Clause that we talked about in Gibbons v. Ogden. John Marshall, despite being the most famous Federalist judge in history, ruled in favor of the state on this one. The opinion stated that when Congress has not directly legislated on a subject, a state may act to promote the health, well-being, and property of its citizens.